Good morning, everyone. Dan here with Ledger Support. In this video, I'll show you how to manage ERC20 tokens in your Ledger Ethereum account. Let's do it. More specifically, in this video, I'll show you how to withdraw ERC20 tokens from an exchange, in this case, Binance, to your Ledger Ethereum account. And then we'll cover situations where you might withdraw your tokens, but the tokens might not appear in Ledger Live. Okay, so let's do it. All right, so I'm logged into my Binance account and I have some Pepe token not financial advice, of course, that I want to withdraw to my Ledger Ethereum account. Binance wants to know two things, my address, which is my Ledger Ethereum address, and the network. In this case, that would be Ethereum. So first, let me show you how to get your Ethereum address. Okay, I'm back in Ledger Live. To get my address, I want to click the Receive button here. Then make sure you select the correct account. So in my case, that would be Ledger underscore Ethereum. Your account might have a different name. Then click continue. Then it's asking me to open the app on the device. So I can just press both buttons at the same time here to open the Ethereum app. Okay, now it's giving me an address. I can copy this address. I also want to make sure to verify the address on the Ledger screen. This is a very important step. If there is a mismatch between the address that you see in Ledger Live and on the device, it's the address on the device that's correct, not the one that's on Ledger Live. So this is a super important step. Make sure to always double, triple check the address. Make sure the two match. Let's verify the address on the Ledger screen. I'm going to use the right button here to verify each character of the address. Make sure to verify each single character, not just the first four and the last four. You want to make sure that all the characters are correct, so to minimize the chance of errors. In my case, that looks correct. So I'm going to go to Approve and use both buttons to validate that. Okay, if I need to re-verify, I can just click the button again and the address pops back up. I'm back on Binance. I'm gonna paste my Ethereum address here and I wanna make sure that the network selected is the network that corresponds to the account type. Okay, so in my case, I was drawing my ERC20 token to my Ledger Ethereum account. So the network should be the Ethereum network. But in this case, the, the, the network auto-selected to the correct information, but in some cases, Binance or any other exchange might give you many different options. So you always wanna make sure to match the network with the account you wanna withdraw to, okay? This is quite important. Um, if you select the wrong network, this is not catastrophic. Typically, the coins will still be in your possession, but they might have been sent to a different account than you want you intended. So it's quite annoying. So just make sure to always double, triple check the network before you send the tokens. Okay, so I'm going to select the Ethereum network. Then I'm going to select the amount. In this case, I wanna withdraw everything. And then withdraw. Next, I'll have to do some verification. So I'll see you after that. Okay, I finished withdrawing my Pepe. I can just click complete and wait for the balance to appear in Ledger Live. All right, so I'm back in Ledger Live and it's been a few minutes already. So I think my transaction has had time to confirm on the Ethereum network. Now, mind you, depending on if the network is congested, the level of the fees, sometimes transaction can take longer time to appear in your balance. But in my case, I'm pretty confident that the Pepe should have appeared in my accounts. So I'm going to navigate to my Ethereum account here and then click show token. And you can see the Pepe has appeared here at the top. The amount is different than the one that is displayed in uh, Binance. And the reason why is because Binance and any exchange for that matter will take what is called a withdrawal fee. So a withdrawal fee is just an amount that the, the exchange will charge you to process the withdrawal. Typically, this amount includes a processing fee and also a network fees, which is the cost for sending the tokens across the Ethereum network to your account. So depending on the exchange that you use and also the congestion on the network that you're trying to use to send the tokens to your account, the withdrawal fee might vary. In my case, that was nine euros, which is a lot of money. But if I withdraw my coins at a time where the Ethereum network was less congested, the withdrawal fee could have been just like one dollar or two dollars. So if the withdrawal fee is too expensive for you, you might want to hold off before you send your coins to your ledger. We covered the happy case where the coins you send to your Ledger account appear in Ledger Live. But in some situations, the tokens will not appear in Ledger Live. So what do you do? Get into a situation where you can't see your tokens in Ledger Live, it might be because, yeah, the, the tokens are not in your account yet or they've been sent to a different network. The easiest way to check that on the Ethereum network is to go to Etherscan, so that would be etherscan.io, 
then you just paste your ledger address in the search bar. And then you look into the token holding se uh, section here. So you can just open that and you can check if you see your tokens in this menu here. So in my case, I can see the Pepe. If you don't see your tokens, that is probably because either the transaction is still processing or because the coins or tokens have been sent to the wrong network. In this case, you can just reach out to us and we can help you with that situation. If the tokens appear in Etherscan, but they don't appear in Ledger Live, it might be because you're using a version of Ledger Live that's outdated. It's super important to update Ledger Live just to make sure that your version supports all the different tokens that are supported in Ledger Live, okay? So what you can do is just make sure that your app is on the latest version by going onto the Ledger website and downloading the install package for the latest version. The current version right now, as I record this video, is 2.58.0. But if you're watching this video in the future, um, another version of Ledger Live might have been released that supports more tokens. So you always wanna make sure that you are running the latest version of, it, of Ledger Live. Something you might wanna check as well is whether you are able to see your tokens via um, something called Xerion. So Xerion is in the discovery section here. It's sort of a portfolio manager that is able to detect uh, tokens that sometimes Ledger Live is not able to detect. What's really cool about Xerion is it's able to detect tokens on many different EVM chains, including Polygon, but also Binance Smart Chain, and also Rollups. So if I scroll down Xerion here, you can see that it's showing me uh, a lot of different tokens and NFTs as well, including my Pepe, which you can see here. So that might be a good option for you if you are not able to see your tokens in Ledger Live. Check Xerion. If you're able to see your tokens in Xerion, then you can just use Xerion to manage that balance. An alternative to Xerion would be to just use MetaMask. So you can very simply connect your Ledger device to MetaMask to see your Ethereum accounts. We have tutorials on how to do this, which I'll link below in the description. So once you've linked your Ledger accounts to MetaMask, make sure that you select your Ledger account. So that's the one with the Ledger tag, okay? Um, then click Import Tokens, Custom Tokens, and here you need the contract address. It's pretty easy to find the contract address. Just go back to Etherscan, go into the token holdings, click the token that you see in Etherscan but not in Large Live. Okay, so this is the token page for Pepe. I'm interested in the token contract here. I wanna copy it, then go back to MetaMask, paste the contract address in here, and then click Add Custom Tokens, and then Import. This way I'm able to see my tokens that might not be displayed in Large Live via MetaMask. Now, just rest assured, um, MetaMask doesn't have access to your private keys. The, the tokens are still secured by your Ledger device. MetaMask is just here to serve as a, a visual interface for your coins, just like Ledger Live. But the private keys to your coins and tokens, they stay in your Ledger device. Of course, if you're still facing issue with a token, then don't hesitate to reach out. You can go to support.ledger.com, that's the help center, and then click uh, the contact us button here. Start a conversation with the bot and you'll be able to talk to your live agent or to send us an email. If you send us an email, make sure to include your Ethereum or Polygon or whatever your account address and also the transaction ID from the exchange to your Ledger device. It will make it easier for us to help you with your issue. You can also reach out to us on YouTube. We are at Ledger. So once you're in the account, go into the live section here and you'll be able to um, get notified for upcoming live support session or live onboarding sessions. It's a good way to reach out to us if you have multiple questions and need urgent assistance and the agent that will be hosting the live support session that day will be able to give you uh, immediate assistance and also to show you visually what to do to get you unstuck. So yeah, we hope to see you there. You can also like and subscribe this video and share it with anyone that might need it. As for me, I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.